No, so that's what I was saying, Slayers. That's exactly what we're gonna go do today. We're gonna cycle our brand new tank for a monster pet. It's gonna be cool. Well, it's not gonna be a monster because monsters don't live in 15 gallon tanks. It'll be like that. I mean, but this thing is crazy. I know exactly what I want. But you guys are gonna have to take a guess and stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. Like I said, we got the clownfish. We have the nice big NSO tangs. We have nice puffer fish. We have so many options we can do. We have these beautiful Minotis. This is like some sort of grouper. Look at that. Hello, baby. You look so good. Hey, oh, you look at that. We have our boy, the mighty Tyson, the peacock man to shrimp. He's looking great. He's looking amazing. He's looking like he wants to go ahead and fight something. Hey, we're talking to you, buddy. Joey Slam. Hello? Yeah, yeah! Hey! Merry Christmas, ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Alright, it's been a while since you posted. Yeah, this is videos from Christmas time. <laughs> Guys, take a look at what I brought. My good friend, Joey Slater. No freaking way, bro. Hold on. You're I know you bought that salt life, so. Dang, you know. dude, 15 gallon. 15 I've been gallons. thinking about buying one, and I think you're overhearing it. Yeah, yeah. And you got it for me for Christmas, bro. I really exactly, appreciate yeah. it, man. You're the man. I so perfect. It. You know what? Alright, this is heavy. Let's put it down somewhere. No, well, let's just let's just hit the bed release. Get what we gotta get, guys. It's gonna be awesome. Slayers, welcome to the channel. It's wild with a party. Yeah, Joy yeah. Slam, subscribe. It's about to be insane what we got going on in 2020. Yeah, so well. let's just let's just get out of here and go to the bed release right now. Sounds good. Well, we made it. There's Free. a car. There's a car. There's a car. <laughs> Dude, I love your shirt, man. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here at Beverly's Pet Center. Time to set up that beautiful 15 gallon you got me for Christmas, bro. Merry Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Ho ho ho. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. This is kind of what I like. This is what is amazing. I love when you have these coral communities like this. You get the little pieces of frag coral and they grow and it gets beautiful. They just moved this here. You know, I think that they had that one over there. This is gorgeous. Yeah, sure. This is a really big tank. I may actually do something like this. Bro, this is a high money tank, boy. You that high money pharmacy money, baby? Yeah. We'll see what happens. Hey, bro, it's so nice. I can't even lie. This is really nice. But in the future, we only have 15 gallons. That's true. So we need to get the bare... Let me focus on you, beautiful man. The bare necessities. So the bare necessities are going to be some sand, maybe a little bit of some crushed coral, which I already have, so I don't have to worry about that. We need to get some salt water, and we have to pretty much set up the whole thing and actually get little fish that will go inside there so that will help cycle the tank. Wait, it's going to take a while. No, I just got to the tank. No, no, no. I got all that. Oh, yeah, I got sure. it. Psych, it's on you, boy. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I got it. No, so that's what I was saying, Slayers. That's exactly what we're gonna go to do today. We're gonna cycle our brand new tank for a monster pet. It's gonna be cool. Well, it's not gonna be a monster because monsters don't live in 15 gallon tanks. It'll be like that. I mean, but this thing is crazy. I know exactly what I want. But you guys are gonna have to take a guess and stay tuned. We're gonna have a lot of fun today, especially this year, 2020. Is our year, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I know we're not really looking at fresh water in this tank today, but look at that. It's a sturgeon. They have sturgeons. They have sterling sturgeons. They have two. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's, that's really crazy. Nice. And unfortunately, this air one has been here for a while because that looking a little droppy there, kiddo. Oh, yeah. Why are you looking so low or down? Yeah, that's unfortunate, right there. <laughs> right? But dude, I love the flag tails and I love these sterling sturgeon. They're so cool. I what love those. These, these are red hooks. Paku. No red hooks. I know. I'm turning. Oh okay. I was like, what? We're about to have a little disagreement there, dude. Imagine the sleigh pad have a that tank just so like this. Lit. That would be nice. Literally, lit. bro, imagine. It doesn't take that much space. Guys, comment below. Make sure Joey gets this. Make sure. Yeah, I might do it. Have it just like this. Completely overcrowded but full of colors. It's going to be a party at the sleigh pad nowadays now that we're not, we're not being strained down anymore <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, this is another beautiful saltwater tank. This is what I'm talking about. These are Chromis. These are the, possibly be the fish that I take home today to cycle these tanks. Actually, there's only two left, and we're probably gonna take these two guys right here. Nice. They're gorgeous too. I mean, I gotta see what I can keep in there yeah. because the tank's not gonna be cycled, mm -hmm. and these guys are going to be the forerunners. They're gonna help cycle my tank because they're the poop and everything, mm -hmm. and the bacteria that are set up. Yeah, Some, I poop in there. Uh, no thanks. So, <laughs> like I was saying. <laughs> uh, we're gonna try to do everything. I'm gonna try to show you guys how I cycle my saltwater tanks. So I could cheat and I can just steal their stuff, like grab like the sand and stuff, and we can just keep it moving. True. But you can shut up. So these are the same green chromis. They're just bigger. They're bigger. I want, I want like the little babies oh, to swim around. Big baby right there. Yeah, they're massive. So I'm not gonna take any of these. But there's like, look at this. 
there's there's something beautiful about the salt life you know what i'm saying yeah for sure it's just absolutely insane they're the frags there's so many things so many opportunities you can get once you get into the salt water game we are all getting the salt water game it's, nick bingo, difficult. it's difficult it's very tough yeah. i can't lie but our boy nick bingo is setting up a pool pond he has a whole bunch of cool stuff pause into it we also have coral fish 12g and you guys already know my salt water game is epic because of the mighty tyson which i believe there is an actual mantis shrimp over here somewhere i gotta find it where are you oh there he is oh look at that 50 dollars and get yourself here That's a beautiful tyson peacock. yeah peacock mantis shrimp he's looking a little thin but we can always fix that it's not too bad he looks good he looks good so we're also going to be doing something with tyson's tank too but i'm setting up this tank in a specific way for what's going to be going inside we need some sand we need live sand we need the crushed coral, which I talked about, which there's the crushed coral right there. Sand, crushed coral, get the medication, not the medication, the bacteria that's in a bottle and add it in and then grab some fish. And I'll I'll pretty much walk you guys through that right now. Not fresh water. Look how beautiful this is, man. I'm so sad they started making these. I would put these for my baby guppies. I mean, look, they literally have guppies in here. Yeah, it'd be perfect. You can order them online. No, they just continued. You already checked and everything? I asked. Oh. I feel like just putting game to who are you talking oh, about? Oh, my best. I know. What are you talking about? <laughs> they discontinued these things? Yeah. I mean, all it is is an over the back filter. You can do it, and then you have the little sponge. I have the little sponges. What about this clear container? I don't have the clear container. My point exactly. You can get that uh, Fluvol Chi. The Fluvol Chi has it. Right. It's a little square, and you can just do that. I don't think they have it here. They might be over there on the side. But guys, all right, so enough fooling around, like I've been uh -huh. saying, this is what we need. Our tank is about 15 gallons. So I use the Nutri Sea Water right here. Nutri Sea Water, if I can speak a little English. You can do a, little, a couple curls and stuff. So that's roughly about four times how much per gallon, seven. That's 28 on each arm right there. He's getting big, you know, that's exactly how we get kind of swole out here. That's what's going on, that's right, baby. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is get three of these, get one more for also Tyson, so we can do a nice water change, show you guys how Tyson is doing. Now, we also need to get something to go inside. I told you we need some chromis and stuff like that. But we need some live rock. I need to keep it as natural as possible. So we're going to look inside, find a nice piece. I think I like that piece right there. The rock is very important to cycle your tank, especially if you want to go ahead and speed up the process. This is a nice live rock piece. I think I like yeah. it. It's pretty cool. I think we'll be taking that one. Good. We're going to ask the person or salesperson to help us out here. Now, there's a lot of things here at Beverly's Pet Center. As you can see, it's a beautiful place, just like my friend Wild World of Farley. Yeah, yeah. Now, moving on, there's a lot of animals. You can get into the saltwater game and doing anemones, getting the corals, getting the colorful things that make everything beautiful. You get the beautiful clownfish that like to cuddle. Girls, I like the cuddle. Let me know, hit me up in the DMs. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, we got the clownfish. We have the nice big NSO tangs. We have nice puffer fish. We have so many options we can do. We have these beautiful minatus. This is like some sort of grouper. Look at that, hello baby. You look so good. Hey, oh, you, look at that. What's up? Oh, spooked. Anyways, guys, so we have the live rock. We have to get the sand and the crushed coral as well. Okay. So I have that, we're good to go in that regard. Now, unfortunately, I was told I cannot get anything from the show tanks, because obviously they're for show, exactly. you know what I'm saying? But everything has a price, you know what I'm saying? Oh. So I need to find something I can put in and I gotta find some chromis. So we need to find some chromis. Chromis, 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 chromis. Oh, look, there they are. Blue fin chromis, they're so cute. Hello, babies. Oh, blue fin, those are nice. They're so pretty. You shall come home. So I'm gonna get these three right here. There'll be three. Then we also have to get Fritz, my buddy. Sean, he has one of the best freaking bacteria systems out there. Fritz, he is the man I met him at Monster Fish Bash. I talked to him, see what's going on. Hey, Sean, if you're watching the video, love you, bro. So what we're gonna go and do is grab that, grab what we need. This is the sand that I need. Where's the sand? Where'd I put the sand? Here's the sand. This is the sand. I like to use that Nature's Ocean Bioactive Live Argonite. 20 pounds is gonna be perfect enough for the animal that we're putting inside. Sale. And it's on sale for $21.99, baby. So, with that being said, I think we got everything we need. I don't know, but this is a great Christmas gift. I appreciate you all with exactly. the party, buying everything. And uh, yeah, let me check the house, peace. All right, Slayer, so here we have our tank and there's nothing in it but salt water. We added that neutral sea water, which we still have the remainder of over there. And then we can add over here. Now here's our live sand. This is live sand. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little trick, okay? Just washing the outside of the bag. And what I'm going to do is actually make some slits around this bag with a blade, put it in here, and then let it 
t let the sand kind of just dissipate throughout the tank by itself and I should be able to pull out the plastic without clouding the water so we can add our chromis and you guys will be able to see a nice clean very happy tank in the beginning for whatever is going to be coming inside so guys comment below what you think is going to be going inside of this tank based on my setup or what you would like to see but i already have an idea what i want to go inside the setup so guys put in the comments below what you want to see in this tank all right slayer so here we have our brand new saltwater tank it's looking great nice and clear that trick worked guys i told you you grab your sandbag you cut around the edges and pretty much it's a flap you lay that down in there. Once you add some water, you open it, give it some time. I gave it roughly about an hour and boom, nice and clear. Uh, I just gotta be able to clean the sides and stuff, but we're looking good guys. Now I went ahead and did a slope here. So there's enough flow coming in from that side and above too, that's usually just the overflow, but this is really what the filter uses to suck up that water and get it back out. Everything's looking impeccable right now. That flow is heavy and nice. And again, here we have that slope and that slope is gonna be very important because the animal that I wanna get is gonna be very important, very special. Something huge to the channel, guys, you guys love it. Take a couple guesses as well as suggest what else should be in here. I might change my mind, I might be putting in something else, but for now, this is exactly the setup I've wanted for my dream pet right here. So this is just another of my goals that I wanted to accomplish with you guys. So again, thank you. It's gonna be awesome. Now let's go ahead and activate our fish right now. All right guys, here we have our blue fin chromis, which will aid in cycling this tank. And not only that, we have this beautiful rock here. This is a live rock. I just took it out of the back so you guys can see. It's very unique, a nice white, purple, and gray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this live rock right into this corner here. See if I can get that for you guys. Oh, I have a couple cuts on my hand and the salt water is doing its job. So we're gonna put that right here for them because the animal that I wanna get is definitely gonna be using that rock. So trust me, this is already something I've been thinking about for a while and it's already calculated. But again, I am open for suggestions. I will not let you guys down if you guys wanna suggest something. So our little blue chromis right here, bluefin chromis are here and they're gorgeous. So while I'm actually letting them activate, I'm gonna be also adding something very special and it's very important. You must add beautiful Fridzyme Turbo Star. This is what I'm talking about. It's concentrated live nitrifying bacteria. It's fire. You add half now and half a couple days later. If you guys wanna see the directions, blah, 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 blah. It's for 25 gallons, it's a 15 gallon tank. So we're definitely gonna put half now and then the remainder after. These guys are almost done acclimating. They're hiding very well from the camera. So you guys will see them nice swimming around. I'm gonna like this because they're gonna be really, really cool. I'm gonna be using them to cycle some future tanks. But moving on guys, this is why you also wanna see what's going on here. We have our boy right here, the Mighty Tyson. Hold on one second, Farty's calling me. We have our boy, the Mighty Tyson, the Peacock Mantis Shrimp. He's looking great, he's looking amazing. He's looking like he wants to go ahead and fight something. Hey, we're talking to you, buddy. Why are you going ahead and giving us your butt like that? So, like I was saying, he is ready to eat. Come up, come over here. You wanna come over here? You're looking for food. We might feed you right now, maybe. Here, there you go, buddy, come over here. Come over here, you're looking so good, so unique. This animal is amazing, I love this guy. All right, Slayer, so here we go. We're gonna add our brand new fish into this bag. All right, guys, these guys are all acclimated, good to go. Let's go ahead and see their colors. This is what I love about the saltwater life, is that everything's so colorful. Hey, buddies, look at these bluefin chromuses. Whoa, oh, he fell in there. Crap, that's annoying. We'll just get this guy real quick. Come on here, buddy. Look at that. Look at these guys. These bluefin chromuses. I love them. All right, we're gonna add you first. Be free, my friend. Wee! That's cool. That looks good. All right, we have the other one right here. Here we go. Oh, you look good. How you doing? Look at those colors right there, guys. I love saltwater fish. I'm so excited to be getting this type of game. Maybe some corals and stuff in the future. Not too sure. That's always an option. And we have the last one right here. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Look at that. Sweet deal. So, guys, that is the last Chromis. And where'd he go? Is he behind the rock? Yeah, he's behind the rock already. Yeah, 100%. All right, guys, we have our three little guys here. We're all Kylie and they're in there. And they look great. Hold on, let's zoom in. Oh, yeah, they look so good. Look at that. Go ahead and name them if you want to name them. But these guys are going to be used solely to cycle this tank, like I was saying. 
We already added this. It looks great, guys. Well, Slayers, that's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next Slay Adventure. Booyah.